Let's tie Shane Stalk up CDC Comparadon. We've got a Tiamco 101 and uni thread in 17 knot white. I'm leaving the tag on the tag end of the thread so I can use it to split my tails. So I'll build a little bump there at the tie-in point. That's also to lift my 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 uh, micro fibbits. These are just micro fibbits in brown. And we've got about four of them. My fat fingers, I always have a hard time uh, picking these babies out, so give me a moment. I'll tie them in and then give it a second to, then I'll use that thread to split them up. And what I like to do is get up towards more towards the eye of the hook because the tails then are less likely to, to move. They'll stay straight back and more likely also to stay split. Trim off the ex excess thread, that tag end, as well as the microfibbit. bring the thread up into the thorax area and then back into the tie-in point. Now I've got a goose biot in olive and I'm, the notch is going to face towards the back so that I get a smooth body. I moisten them a bit in my mouth I don't like the taste of the olive ones. The brown ones and the rust ones taste pretty good, but the olive ones not so much. Now I don't have to taper the body so much because the bulk of that Biot actually gives me a nice taper after I wrap it on. Use my hackle pliers and actually use the rotating function of my vise to wrap it on. I get a little bit of an overlap, mainly to cover that fuzzy edge. But I use the tension of the of the hackle pliers. To keep my biot even. Now tie off that biot. And trim. and whip fish, finish it. Now I've got some partridge. I'm going to take one of partridge feather and cut a V in it. And that's going to help me spread it out a bit. And it actually acts as a, I would cover a, an overwing with the CDC as an underwing. And see that little little V just by cut trimming the stem. I'll show that in a, so show that to you in a second. See that V that's created just by cutting out that stem with the point point of your scissors. What I like to do is tie it in and then pull on it. To adjust its length. Now I want it to go, oh, 
out over the eye about a length of the shank. So see, I'm just pulling on the feather right now, the back end of the stem, to adjust its length. I'm going to whip finish it, trim off the excess stem from the partridge. Now I've got a bundle of two CDC feathers in a, captured in a Petty Jean clip. I'm trimming off the stems right now. I'll transfer it to another Petty Jean clip so that I have the butt end sitting in the clip itself. Now I take my stacker, Petty Jean stacker, just get that nice little bundle. Wonder how I used to do this before. <laughs> I'm going to tie it in by the butts, and I want it to be even up, but I'm going to let it go over, so I want the bulk of the CDC to be even up with the partridge. I'm going to lash it down. And trim off that extra CDC, the butt end sections. I'm going to apply a little dubbing to my thread and I'm going to use it to push, I'm going to dub at the thorax area behind it and then that will help me stand up my CDC partridge. So then I'll also dub in front of it. Apply a bit of dubbing. This is microfine and gray. Always remember, you twist your thread, your dubbing on, moving in the same direction. I'll pull it back with everything else, and then I'm going to use that to prop it up. The partridge as well as the CDC. See so a little bit of a prop, but I got to add. I need to add a little bit more dubbing. See right underneath that partridge. See, I get that little lift. Let me come forward just a little bit, but I'll make that adjustment later. Tie it off, and basically the fly's done. So from now on, all I'm trying to do is be picky and make it a little more pretty. I will, though. After I trim this thread, I will even up the tips of the CDC with the partridge. And all I do is pull up, or in this way, pull sideways, and then know where my partridge is, and then take my scissors and trim that CDC. I'm going to spread it out and pull some of the CDC down to the sides. And I fuss with it a little bit too much here, but you get the point. I need also need to. I can tell I also need to spread out the partridge because it's also bundled up to the top and it needs to come down to the sides also. As much as I fuss with it, you can tell I didn't pull out any of the feathers. It's, it's uh, racked in there pretty good. 
you know, pulling some of that partridge down so we get a little bit of arc shape going. Half circle. I like the way this fly sits in the water. And I like those little extra wisps of CDC dragging along too. Those look like legs. If you look at it from underneath, that fly looks pretty good. This is uh, my version of Shane Stalk Up CDC Comparadon. There we go.